and see how it feels. It feels better already. Good. I still feel so foolish falling down like that during the parade. <sighs> Perils of being a drum majorette. Your mother's here to take you home. She bought you a nice warm coat. Okay. And this is a prescription for you in case you have trouble with pain. I don't expect you're going to need it. I think you'll really find that the worst of it is over. Thank you. But one thing that you do have to do is you have to stay off that foot just for a little while. Go home, sit down, put your foot up. Watch TV. I heard that they're going to rerun the parade on the news. You might be able to see yourself marching past the reviewing stand. Thank you, Dr. You're Weber. welcome. Oh, your shoe. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Can't forget that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it certainly is a big difference from last night, isn't it? Last night, that terrible accident, and today all we've had is cold noses, cold hose, and one sprained ankle. Leslie, do you have any idea if Diana made it to the parade today? No, I haven't. Strange. Well, I think we were successful in calming Jeff down. You think we were? Yes, I got a call from him. He'd gone over to see Diana to try and explain how he felt, and he wanted to apologize for some of the things he said to us. But you sound like he didn't see her. No, he wasn't able to find her. He thought possibly that she'd left for the hospital already. Maybe she did. Maybe she joined the rest of the nurses in the parade. Well, I guess that's a possibility. He was a little bit upset when he couldn't talk to her. He thought for a second maybe she'd taken PJ and just run off somewhere. Oh, no, Diana's not going to do that. She has legal rights, and I'm sure she realizes that. Yeah. <sighs> has Jeff talked to Steve? He didn't say, but I, I think he was trying to get legal advice first. Oh, really? Well, that sounds good. That sounds like maybe you're right. Maybe we did get through them. Dr. Weber? Yes. The nurse said that uh, you didn't have a patient at the moment, so... Um... Oh, yes. Um, hello. I think you know Mr. Castle, Rick. Yes. Hello, Dr. Weber. Don't tell me you're stopping by again to thank Leslie for helping with your first mate. Huh? It's been some time ago. I could never thank her enough. It's not every day you find a doctor who'll make house calls. Oh, it's not every day you get to make a house call on a big, beautiful yacht. Well, we have to see to it that uh, your next visit won't be a professional one. I came by to ask if you could take some time off to have tea with me. Oh, I, I really can't leave the hospital. Well, I understand uh, up on the main floor there's a cafeteria, and uh, I thought we could have some tea. Please, uh, join me. I won't keep you long, I promise. Well... No, please, please go. I can hold down the fort while you're gone. Please. Well, in that case, mm. I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor? Yes. Worked as a receptionist for ELQ International. And I may be prejudiced, but I think she's an awfully nice person and beautiful. Well, she has to be beautiful if she's your daughter. Uh, thank you for the compliment, but she doesn't look anything like me. She's two inches taller than I am and has blonde hair and blue eyes. That's enough talking about me. It's not fair. I should get to know something about you, Mr. Castle. Well, there is very little to tell. And, uh, Leslie, uh, please call me Tony. You insist, of course. I would not insist upon anything with a woman like you. I think you're a woman with a mind of your own, independent almost to a fault. I think I'll take that as a compliment. I certainly worked hard enough to get there. Uh, since your divorce, perhaps? Goodness gracious, look how quickly we got back onto the subject of me. Now, I'm sure that my life can't be that interesting for someone like you. I find everything about you very interesting, more than interesting. I find you absolutely enchanting, Leslie. I want to get to know you better. You want to have dinner with me tonight? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, don't say no, please. I have to. I've been working for two days without any sleep, and I'm going to go home tonight and catch up. Rick and I were working in emergency all last well, what night. What about and... tomorrow night? Uh, possibly. Leslie, I want to see you before then. This ridiculous business of coming around to thank you for helping one of my crew members is wearing a little thin as an excuse to see you. I mean, don't you think? Well... 
Well, if not tomorrow, then uh, soon. I'll, I'll know my schedule better tomorrow. But you will go out with me. <sighs> okay, I promise. I have one request. What is that? When I pick you up at the house, is it possible for me to be the only gentleman admirer there? Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I must say, I, um, I found it rather interesting, the subtle friction between your uh, date for the evening, um, Captain... Ramsey. Yeah, you? yeah, and, uh, and your husband. Uh, ex-husband. Well, I have a feeling he still thinks of himself as your husband. Why would you say that? Because he introduced himself to me as such. Did he? Well, he uh, amended it to ex-husband, but uh, I found it rather interesting. <sighs> In any event, I hope next time to have you all to myself. I'll put a sign on the door. Quarantine. Excellent. Dr. Leslie Weber, call emergency room B. Dr. Leslie Weber, call emergency room B. Dr. Weber, you have a call from the emergency room B. Dr. Weber. Correct. What's the matter? Something serious? Well, nothing serious right now, but the could be. Uh, Leslie, I would appreciate it if you could cut your break a little short. We've had quite an influx of injuries from the parade. Oh, I'll be right there. Thank you. I understand you have something in your eye. Yeah, and it's driving me crazy. I can understand that. Don't rub, don't rub. Let me just take a look at it. All right. Oh, I see it. It's right there. It looks like a little piece of soot or something. We can get that out. Piece of cake. No, you don't squint. Just try and relax your eyes. Honest, I won't hurt you. Hello there. Got it. Uh, there you go. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, now let me get uh, some drops for you, because it really looks a little irritated. Yeah, I couldn't help to rub it. I can understand that. You want me to put them in for you? No, I'll do it when I get home. Okay. It feels better now, anyway. I'm sure it'll be all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Your next patient is suffering from blistered feet. Blistered feet? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can certainly understand why you would ask me to cut my break short. We are, indeed, flooded with serious emergencies. <laughs> see the two of you finally got together. Yeah, George, Jeff, Jeff and I are going to check out for the rest of the time. All right, Doctor. Hardy. I'll call in later on. Fine. Rick, Leslie. Hi. Hello. Jeff, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Um, good. I told Steve about Peach. Oh. Needless to say, it was an emotional day for both of us. I'm just so yes, happy sure. for everybody. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about Diana, of course. And I'm Have sure you, you talked to her yet? Uh, no, actually, I spent the whole day trying to catch up with her. I just couldn't find her at the parade. We both thought we should get some legal advice from, before meeting with Diana. I agree. Oh, yes. uh, listen, I want to thank both of you for taking care of me down at the police headquarters and kind of keeping my head on straight. I must have been acting like a crazy man down there. Yeah, you did. But at least you had a good reason. <laughs> it isn't every day a man finds his son. Yeah. Well, we'll be in touch. Okay. Bye. 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 He is the craziest person, your brother. You about ready to call him today? I am. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm dead tired myself. Georgia, you got anything for me? And for... Lobby, Thank Mrs. Price. Thank you. Yeah, this is Howard Lansing. Is Leslie Weber anywhere in the hospital? Oh, yes. Yeah, she's right here. Hold on just a moment, please. It's for you, Dr. Weber. Thank you. And here are your messages. Oh. And he doesn't get any right. That's right. right. Oh, oh, thanks. Hello. This is Dr. Weber. Les? Yeah. It's Howard. Hiya, Howard. Uh... I thought I'd better call you. What's the matter? Your voice sounds funny. Oh, it, it, it's about Diana Taylor. It's pretty rough, Les. What? What happened? Diana's dead. What? Howard? What? Let's what? Do you, 
What, ha what happened? What are you talking about? Someone got into her apartment and killed her. The police are still here. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Lansing. We found the boy. Yeah, hold on a minute. Oh. Thank yeah. God. Thank God for that. He was in the laundry room. God only knows what that boy saw happen in this apartment, so we're going to keep him out of here for now. So. Great, thank you. Yeah, a lot less? Yes. Leslie, I'm sorry. We thought that PJ was lost, but he's been found in the laundry room. We don't know how much he saw. We'll be right there. Leslie, what is it? It's Diana. What? She's dead. 